I just, just to update you once again around the World Cup and uh, tell you that the first game of the day is going on. Brazil against uh, uh, Croatia, the opening game of the 2045 World Cup, still goalless um, after about uh, 11, 12 minutes of football uh, being played. But we want to focus on the Super Eagles right now and uh, talk about uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. They won't be playing, as I told you before, they won't be playing until... Monday, that's when the Super Eagles will be playing their first game against Iran at the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. And just to let you know, once again, that all that we're doing uh, to push the Eagles to success um, is in our own little way uh, to come up with um, the hashtag that we've been using on this show um, since the build-up to the World Cup. Uh, and it is so Super Eagles. That's what you're seeing on your screen. So Super Eagles. That's to encourage the team to fly above every obstacle and uh, uh, give the best performance possible uh, for, um, uh, the, for Nigeria so that we can go there and, uh, and do well. But as we said, let's just tell you that uh, uh, there's an update, Dubnodi, uh, and it's a surprising, surprising story really around the World Cup. Croatia have scored a goal. That's what you're seeing on your screen. It's Croatia 1, Brazil 0. Uh, that's... Uh, an interesting result coming through. Uh, own goal uh, by the Brazilians have given Croatia the lead after just about um, 12 minutes of football in the opening game of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. This definitely is not going according to script, Dumnodi, and I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be shocked. Um, just 12 minutes, there's still plenty of time for Brazil to fight back and maybe get something out of this game. For those who are playing at this World Cup, in Brazil, who are playing at this World Cup should not hold. We'll be thinking that ah, when our players are beginning to come because uh, mm. this is very shocking. Um, like you said, um, it's not according to script. Surprisingly, nobody ever thought the Croatian could go ahead at this time of the game. Um, the, 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 now it's now the pressure is now on the Brazilians to prove because a lot of a lot of people have tipped the Brazilians as one of the top favorite for the title, and even coming up uh, coming out of that group as top uh, group winners, they they, 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 they tipped the Brazilians to, to qualify from their group. But this result put them under intense pressure. I hope it's not going to be um, they're not going to be um, punting um, the panic button because this is what it means. It means that once you are once you are go down. Then the situation will just have to fall back to see whether the Badlam will push all men forward. And mm. that's what the Badlam won't do, just to get a quick equalizer, a quick res response. But if they are not careful and they, and they let their red guard open, then the Christians could just strike. And that will be the soccer point if they are not careful. And that will, will mean that the Badlam will have to wait because the, the, the next mm. game are very key. The first game, will put, if the Christians, but well, well, of course the game is still very it's early days, but the Badlam need to get a quicker response. But mm. they have to be very careful so that they don't leave their way back guard open and the Croatian to strike again. Mm. All right, so that's just an update for you around that game that's currently going on. Croatia uh, shot into the lead and it is Brazil 0, Croatia 1. Not exactly how you want to start a World Cup on your soil, on your home ground. The Brazilians are falling behind, but there's still plenty of time to play uh, and there's still plenty of uh, action in the game. Anything can still happen. The Brazilian can still come back. And who says Croatia? who don't even score more and put more pressure on Felipe Scolari and his boys. But let's focus on the Super Eagles of Nigeria now, do not the good news. I mean, we talked about this yesterday. Stephen Keshi assured us that we don't need to panic. These boys will raise their game when the World Cup gets underway. But the good news coming through from the camp of the Super Eagles, actually, two. Um, the first one, Edi Keozuei has arrived um, in camp, is with the boys. He has trained with the team today and then... Kenneth Omeru, who has been sidelined for a few days because of injury, is also back, is, is ready uh, and um, ready to fire. He's back in training with the boys, with the team, and looking forward to the game against Iran on Monday. Yes, um, for Omeru, that's cheering news. Cheering in, in the sense that we're looking for someone who, because it's, a, it's one player that everybody's looking forward to, to see what Omeru can bring to the party. Yes, he's played at the top level before. Um, he's played at the FIFA Confederation Cup, but this is the World Cup. They want to see how well Emeru could, could adjust, how well he's not um, he's going to um, he's to overcome the 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 fight, um, the fight um, associated with tournament like this. And for for Anomiwe, so for Keshi, he's gotten an option. One of his key member in the central and the out of the defense is back. And the Sadu is back on the pitch. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's good news, cheering news, and. Um, so Nigerians will not, will not be so a bit apprehensive because a lot of people have been saying, why is Yobu still on this? Yobu looks a bit, mm, uh, maybe mm, still a bit, mm. a bit um, slow, um, maybe it's aging, but um, should, you, should you begin to risk Yobu for, because he wants to get an 100 caps? No. Let's get the younger guys, mm. let's get Omemuru Pear and Obabuna in the, in, in the art of the defence. But now that he's back, I think, um, I, think I hope um, 
um, that will that will give Kevin Lewis. I hope he gets back to his best. Yes, he's back from injury, but um, let him get to his best mm. so that um, Nigerians will know that this guy um, is still a needed player in the team. Mm. All right, so that's the story uh, from the camp of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. They've settled in well uh, in uh, Campinas, which is um, just on the outskirts of Sao Paulo, and they're looking forward to the first game on Monday against Iran. So we wish the Super Eagles all the best of luck and hope that um, everybody will be in tip-top shape. They will raise their game and give us every reason uh, to be happy uh, when that um, game uh, gets underway uh, on Monday. But let's just quickly, once again, take you back and update you with what is going on uh, around the game between Brazil and Croatia. Uh, is um, still Brazil 0, Croatia 1, own goal scored by Marcelo um, in the 11th minute. has given Croatia the lead in this game. The Brazilians really have their back against the wall now. They have to produce something and hope that uh, they can uh, come back. 16 minutes has been played in that game. It is still Brazil struggling to get a goal. Croatia already with a goal early in the game. And how comforting, I mean, how... Um, um, what, what a boost that will be uh, for, for Croatia. Getting a goal early against the Brazilian playing on home soil, it sort of settles them, allows them to settle down, play their game. While on the other hand, it unsettles the Brazilians who will want to get a goal quickly and come back on level time. And in that way, they will probably be leaving gaps that the Croatians will take advantage of and uh, maybe surprise uh, um, the Brazilians the more. And it's also instructive that the first goal of the 2014 FIFA World Cup Actually, an own goal scored by a Brazilian, Marcelo, scoring at the other end, where he doesn't want to score against his team. Well, um, for the Croatians, they never expected that this goal would come so early. Mm. Because I, I, I know from reports that they just have to look at what the Brazilians are bringing forward to soak the pressure because the Brazilians are going to be playing more men forward so at like a rushing wind, like a rushing, like a rushing wind, and you expect the Croatians to want to withstand this kind of onslaught. But this goal coming in puts them, gives them a better advantage, gives them, it boosted their morale because this is a goal that could make or mar the Brazilians at mm. this point in time. And the Brazilians want to move on forward, but Coach Solari, Kolari, known for his expertise, known for his um, techniques, should not allow that um, the equation to take you on the counter, take you on the break. Yes, Coach they are pretty experienced players, very good players. There's a Modric, there's a Rakitic in that team. Just two players, very fantastic, very creative, who explode when they find that opening. So the Brazilians, yes, they needed a quick response, mm. but they needed to cover up at the back so that they don't get hit again, a please. second time. I want to get hit a second time. I hope those fans will not turn their, way, their faces and turn their eyes mm. on the Badlands and begin to focus on the equation. But mm. I know the Badlands, they don't do that. They try to support their team up to the end, but they need a quick mm. response at this time, especially a, a equalizer before the end of the first half. Mm. Uh,